we're gonna make Puerto Rican spaghetti. First ingredients for the Puerto Rican spaghetti or spaghetti made by Puerto Ricans. <laughs> if you are making Puerto Rican spaghetti, you have to have sofrito. I make my own. It has green bell peppers, it has cilantro, it has garlic, it has yellow onion. There's variations, but that's the basic one and you're gonna need it. All right, guys, so these are the things you're going to need. Um, I use olive oil. You can use any oil that you want except for coconut oil. That really doesn't go very well with it. But, you know, extra virgin olive oil, vegetable oil, canola oil. I use uh, extra virgin olive oil. You need some garlic salt, a little bit of onion powder, some oregano leaves, black pepper. You can use either a can or half a can of tomato sauce. I use tomato paste. That's just me. And, of course, you're going to need the protein, which is uh, ground beef. All right, so let's get it going. Got the stove on. And we're going to pour a little bit of olive oil. I say a couple of tablespoons worth. Okay, that might be a little bit more. All right, so let's get this thing going. And this is going to make it taste so good. And the aroma that comes away from this, man, you're going to have the whole house smelling so good. Putting a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of onion. I'm putting the spices in before I add the meat because I want this to kind of like blend together but then I'll add a little bit more like garlic after I add it so let's go now my grandmother did not use pasta sauce she made it with you know fresh tomatoes and tomato paste and all that good stuff I'm gonna do a little bit of cheating I'm gonna be using a little bit of a uh, help here but as long as I have the basic flavors in here I have my sofrito and the garlic and all that good stuff um, it's gonna come out just as great so now that all of that has been heated up I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna add my meat. I'm using one pound of uh, ground beef. All right guys, so we have the sofrito, we have the tomato paste, we have, you know, the garlic salt. I'm just gonna cook this through until it gets all nice and brown. Oh, I can smell the sofrito, it smells so good. All right, so I have the water um, boiling for the noodles. What's in there is salt and oregano leaves. Don't ask me why I do it. I did it once. I liked it. All right, guys, so I'm making my spaghetti Puerto Rican style. I have in there a pound of ground beef. I have about three spoonfuls. I'm kidding. One spoonful of sofrito. If you don't know what sofrito is, uh, do I need to show it to you? I will. Sofrito is the base spice um, that you're going to see in most Puerto Rican homes. Yes, I'm reusing a bottle of, I think this was like coffee. <laughs> I promise you I cleaned it out. So this has in there green peppers, green bell peppers, garlic, cilantro, and yellow onion. There's various recipes for it, but this is the basic one. And this is what I put a spoonful of with some oil to start off my um, spaghetti sauce. And let me tell you, it makes a huge difference. I have ragu, which is one of my favorites. And I put that in there. I let it simmer, cook up the noodles, and I'll show you what it looks like in the end. So I added the jar of uh, ragu sauce, whatever sauce you prefer. I'm going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes on low heat. All right, guys. So I made the noodles. So just basic spaghetti noodles. And I mixed it in with the sauce. And I let it set. That's something you want to do. Let it set for a couple of minutes. I say like five minutes. No. It kind of brings everything together. You know, the noodles kind of suck up the sauce and all that good stuff. So see you in five. Sorry, guys. I couldn't resist. I should have like um, filmed myself, serving myself and all that good stuff. But you know how to serve yourself. And this is the Puerto Rican spaghetti with sofrito, garlic, and all that good stuff. Delicioso.